So we're on our way to the campground that's only a few hours away. And Lucy's doing pretty good. She was just whining a minute ago. Yeah, I think we might have to stop gonna, for a bathroom break. I'm going to have to use image stabilization on this. This road is not we're the best. All over. And I've realized a few minutes ago that uh, our camper is not the quietest. But you also just told me that. Uh, what the front half is 21 years old the back half is 20 years old you want to explain that oh yeah well a lot of uh, class B or class C campers that are built on a chassis the manufacturer buys a whole bunch of one year of chassis and then uh, Winnebago or whoever it is that's building it then they go through and build them over the next few years and that's what they did with this one it, it's a Winnebago Rialta but it's built on a Volkswagen Eurovan chassis. Okay, so it definitely is the Eurovan. Right, it's okay. all of that. It's, I think the uh, title says Winnebago Rialta. So uh, we always have this conversation because I always forget, what is technically the year of this? Like what's on our title? The, it's, the VIN number is to the, uh, the chassis. It says it's a 2000. A 2000, okay. But when Winnebago sold it, they sold it as a 2001. Because that was the newest part of it. <laughs> Correct. Okay. But the 2000 through 2005, I believe they're all, the chassis are 2000 or 2001. And they stopped making this in 05. That's the Correct. newest one that you can get. For this model. Yeah. And we got ours in 2014. 2014, right before, like, Every kind of exploded that everyone started looking for smaller RVs. Before the big van life thing really took off. It was kind of a thing, but it hadn't gotten like it is today. Right, because Instagram like, wasn't what it is and all of right, that. Right. So we got in at the ground floor. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Current view, we pulled over to give Lucy a bathroom break. And the truck stop that we thought was there is actually still being built so we pulled over into a little parking lot and the camper won't start it has full battery power so darren's trying to figure it out was anything loose nope we are up and running again Darren is just now putting everything back together. It was the stupid starter solenoid. You know what I'm replacing when we get home? Over the years we've learned and in the closet we keep a box of spare parts. And yeah, of course he has his tools in the trunk and the jumpsuit. Now if we only had space for ramps. I have no room. So wait, I was asking you earlier before that gentleman drove up, uh, is this the first time taking off the belly pan completely flat on the ground like this? Uh, or, no, it was that when we were stuck at Utah? Yeah. Thank you for being such a good girl. Thank you. I know this wasn't fun, but you have been a champ. Thank you for getting us back on the road so quickly. Uh, that didn't seem very quick to me, but I guess it was fairly quick. We only lost about 45 minutes to an hour, and I think out of all the times that we've had issues with this, that may have been one of the fastest uh, resolutions. Yeah, I would have been. That would have been a lot faster if uh, I had more room. It was. I had no ground clearance, so it was really difficult to take the belly pan off. But you got it though. We got it going. Thank you. I know what I'm replacing when do we get home. So yeah, the uh, starter solenoid stuck and wasn't clicking over to start the engine. So it's probably original. It's probably never been replaced. So I'm going to... And it's not a spare part that we carry. Well, it's not something that goes out frequently. So it was yeah. time to go out. It went out. <laughs> <laughs> We are at Twitly or Twiltly. 
depends on how you say it. There is an extra L in there, but we haven't decided if it's silent or not. We've heard it pronounced both ways. Anyhow, we're at Twitley Branch Campground in Collinsville, Mississippi. We're about 10 miles north of Meridian. And this is Lake Okatibi. And we're at a Army Corps of Engineers, a COE campground. I believe this is our first time staying at a COE campground, but it definitely won't be our last. We're really enjoying it here. And we're in site 46 for anybody who's interested. Goose, do you like camping? Are you a big girl? Do you like camping? You guys can lead if she wants. This place is really cool. I wish we had learned about it sooner. It's close, we can come back. Accidental Good art. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Lucy. Good girl. You ready? Lucy. You ready? Okay, this is spot 29, and I heard a lot about this spot when I was checking out this place. And it's very nice. It's on the lake, which most of these spots are on the lake, but it does face the boat ramp. And I can imagine, like somebody said, that it's pretty noisy in the mornings when the fishermen are coming and going. But it's a beautiful spot. I don't know quite why it's so popular though. It does seem to be one of the ones that everyone tries to get here. But in my opinion, I think there's some better options. I'll show you in a minute. Spot 39, I would recommend this one. Still waterfront, but better view and a little more privacy from people driving by. And of course I would recommend our spot which is number 46, and I think it might have the longest driveway or parking spot of all of them. And look, we're way back there, and we have a view of the lake and the beach. And then I'm standing next to 45, which is also good, but it's a little closer to the road. Highly recommend this spot. Lots of space farther back than most of the others from the road. Lake view, beach, right down there, past Lucy in the tree. Super happy with this spot. Now it's time for a fire and some cooking. supposed to be full sun today, high of 40. So we we're looking forward to kind of a bluebird day, but right now it is definitely overcast. Maybe the sun will come out in a little bit. I turned off my morning alarm this morning, knowing Lucy would get us up. Well, she decided to sleep in, so we slept in today for the first time in years and years. So that was kind of nice. Thank you for making breakfast. You're welcome. I thought I was just getting a bagel. Well, surprise.
surprise. <laughs> so what is a normal breakfast for us when we're camping? Um, it, usually it's just like cliff bars and stuff. Well, is that's that when right? we have like activities. This is not an activity place. They don't have any trails or anything. And uh, we didn't bring our bikes, which we should have. But yeah, I mean, I do grits and toast and uh, uh, eggs and waffles and pancakes no you've never done waffles in here <laughs> come on now you're being crazy actually the uh, bagels are one of my favorite if you've never had a bagel that's been toasted on cast iron you really need to try one if you can it's pretty good yeah we're checking out the bathhouse up there on the hill there's just one for the whole campground it was a bit of a walk but it's nice but then i look down and i see this and there was another one near our campground. So what I'm thinking is there's a trail through the woods to get from our camping area, our camping loop, uh, which is black gum loop, I believe, uh, down here to the bathhouse and to Loblolly loop. But I can't see any markers to follow the trail. I would love to take this way back. Yes, yes, baby girl, we are about to go. She is six months old today and she is ready to celebrate. <laughs> All right, we walked over to the other loop, which is Loblolly, and still have some waterfront ones. This is the smaller of the two loops, and there's even less uh, people camping over here, so lots of privacy. So if you were to come here, I would definitely bring a bike for the roads. You can get in some good miles. We've seen lots of joggers. Okay, if I didn't know any better, I'd say that's a tornado siren. That's Several what I, of them just wound up. That's what our tornado sirens at home sound like. But there's not even rain forecast, much less. It's something with the dam? No, we're on the other side of the dam. The dam's on the far, far side. That was creepy. I was going to say that we really like this loop because it, the water is a little more inlet and private. And it looks like it'd be better for swimming. And then we're about to go check out that little walkway and what's probably a floating platform when the water's higher. Lucy. Nope. Sit pretty. Good girl. She still needs that coarse drink. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. Lucy, come on. <laughs> Stop it. Seriously, what are y'all doing? I don't know. I was trying to get a look out the window up at this tree and she just mauled me. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Stop it. You're built to fall. <laughs> Are you even on the chair? Anymore? Really? Lucy, leave it. Look at me. <laughs> leave it. Good girl. Here you go. Good girl. That's torture, huh? <laughs> Sit. Shake. Good job. Dance. Dance. Good dancing. Good girl. Come here. She dances better than either of us. Come here. Do my baby. <laughs> Lucy, what'd you do? <laughs> Maybe I 
I can save him. His squeaker's broken. <gasps> oh, I'm back to life. You can't, bro. You gotta his... save me. Ah! <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Ah! She's very mean to her toys. Did you kill him? You murdered Wubba. She murdered <laughs> Wubba 2.0, too. You murder all your toys. <gasps> hey! <laughs> Lucy and I are taking a walk in the woods while we wait for Darren at the bathhouse, and this is so beautiful. I wish the woods by our house were like this. I guess they do prescribed burns or something to keep the underbrush under control here, because you can just walk through. I just, oh, I love this. I would take a walk in the woods every morning if the woods by our house was like this. It's just so peaceful. And we keep seeing deer tracks, but we haven't seen a single deer. So we have our eyes peeled, but uh, I don't think I will end up seeing any. Maybe as we're heading out. taking one more walk before we head home and I was just looking and I think 41 would be an even better spot than 39 because this one has you facing more towards the water than towards the road. So just FYI for you and for me to remember later. All right, we are headed home and we actually continued a conversation. What, about the age of the camper? Right, with one of our neighbors at the, uh, the campground. He said that his Winnebago was a, uh, they sold it to him as a 2012 and when he registered it, they registered it as a 2011 and he called the dealer and said, hey, what's the deal? And they explained to him the chassis versus the coach. and. I thought, oh yeah, that's right. Ours was sold as a 2002, but the VIN says 2001. So it's not, not 2000, 2000, 2001. 2001. Right. Yeah, so it's just each thing is one year newer. And no issues with the starter, so that's good. Uh, I'm still gonna replace it because that sucked and not wanted to start. It's just time. Yeah, so. it probably is the original. Yep. The, uh, people we bought it from they were the second owners right i believe so yeah that's what i think because he said he bought it from uh the the dealer had it as like his personal vehicle even though he was the dealership you know, right he bought one. yeah so and they didn't drive it much at all no uh, she even said they pretty much used it for like a station wagon for their grandkids yeah. so it only we, have what 60 70 thousand miles on it something like that now it's got 110 <laughs> Our luck ran out. Damn it. Success.
Darren found a way to tap on the starter from above while I tried starting the camper from inside. Success! Yay!